Hi, this is Maggie from Design Code Debug Repeat. Welcome to the channel. You try to run your Python program, and instead of running, there's a red highlight and a pop-up that says unexpected indent. Sound familiar? This is one of the most common and confusing Python errors, especially if you're just starting out. In this video, I'll explain exactly what it means and how to fix it fast. This script example is called indentationerror.py, and you can see two lines of code, print hello world, flush left in the window, followed by print goodbye indentation error indented slightly under the first line. When I try to run it, Python sees this second line starting with some spaces, and it doesn't like that. Why? Because Python uses indentation to group code. If you indent a line when Python isn't expecting it, you will get this syntax error. A syntax error prevents your program from running. If you haven't yet learned any reasons for indenting code, then don't. Make sure all of your lines of code begin at the left margin of the script window. When I move my second line back to the left so that it's aligned with the line above, the program runs and prints my messages. Now, what if you have learned when to indent code, but you're still getting this error? Let's look at a couple of examples. We indent code in Python when it should be conditionally executed, such as after an if, while, or for, or if it's part of a definition, such as a function definition with def or a class definition. In this example, the program asks the user if they want to keep going and uses an input statement to read their answer into a variable called keep going. It then tests that variable with if keep going equals equals yes, and under that there is a print statement that should execute only if the condition is true. Notice that everything is flush with the left side of the script window. When I try to run this, I get a long red bar, and Python tells me it expected a colon. With if and while statements, we put a colon after the condition, indicating that the code below should be executed if the condition is true. The conditional code must be indented. If I add the colon and try to run the code, Python responds with expected and indented block after if statement on line 8. Indenting the code properly allows Python to understand it, and it will run. Here's how this often happens. If you forget a colon when Python expects one, then when you press enter, idle won't automatically indent. Here's a pro tip. If the indentation seems wrong, You've forgotten a colon or maybe a closing parenthesis somewhere. Go back and find your syntax error before you keep going. Here's another indentation error I see frequently. I have a pretty standard Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion function, def convert temp open paren temp f float returns a float colon, and then indented under that temp c colon float equals temp f minus 32 times 5 ninths. So far, so good. Then I have return temp c but the return line is not indented. Below that, I'm invoking the function with print convert temp to 12. When I try to run this, I get the red highlight on the word return and the error return outside function. Every line of a function must be indented under the function header. This error can happen if you're making lots of changes to a function, maybe moving some code in and out and you forget to indent all of the code you moved in. Here's another version I see. I have the same function header, but the line of code calculating temp c is not indented, and then return temp c is indented. If I try to run that, I get the red highlight on return temp c and the unexpected indent error. Having the line of code unindented after the function ends the function. Python doesn't expect indented code after the function has ended. Indenting this line of code calculating temp c, which is part of the function, solves this problem. Here's one more. I've written some code in Notepad++, and I'm going to paste it into this script window in idle. It's the same if statement code from before asking the user if they want to keep going, but I've got two conditional statements after the if. And if you're observant, you might notice it looks a little funny pasted in. I'll try to run it, 
and Idol says inconsistent use of tabs and spaces in indentation. The problem with tabs and spaces is they're invisible. If I go back to Notepad++ and ask it to show me white space and tab by going to View, Show Symbol, Show White Space and Tab, it's a little hard to see, but there are dots before the first indented statement. Those dots stand in for spaces. And there's a tab before the second indented statement. Idle is really forgiving. If I press Tab, Look, I'll press a tab and then type a word. And I'll copy that and paste it into Notepad++. Notice that it's showing up as spaces. Idle will automatically convert a tab to four spaces, so you can't get the inconsistent use error if you type your program in Idle. That's a setting in Idle. Under Options, Configure Idle, Windows. Indent spaces, 4 is standard. But other editors might not be as forgiving, and if you paste code in from somewhere else, it might use tabs instead of spaces. In Python, you should always use spaces to indent, not tabs. 4 spaces is standard. If you're not using idle to edit, configure your editor to use spaces. I hope that helps you solve your indentation errors. Remember that indentation has meaning in Python programs, so read through your program and make sure your indentation is communicating the right program structure to Python. If this helped, check out my Fix It Fast series on Python errors. There's one on name error, one on file not found error, and more on the way. If you're still stuck, drop a comment below and I'll help you debug. As always, have fun and keep coding.